All right, guys, we are going to do a quick video on how to do your ur suit measure or measurements for your dry suit. Uh, with this, we're going to start with the basic measurements, and then we'll progress into the ones you'll need for made to measure. So Bill's going to be helping me out here. We're going to start with his head measurement. Um, notice we are using a flexible tape measure. Bill's shoes are off. Everything's out of his pockets. Uh, and uh, let's, let's just go for it. So measuring in centimeters right at the widest part of Bill's head. Thank you. Bill's nice and tall. <laughs> All right, take that measurement. Notice that the tape is snug. It's not real loose and it's not crazy tight that's uh, deforming the skin or anything like that. So jot that measurement down. Going down, we're going to our neck. This is right where our neck seal is going to be sitting. Take that measurement. And then going from there, we're going to be at his wrists. So anytime we're taking a measurement on a body part that has a left and right, just take them both, jot them both down. So right where the wrist seal sits, and then do it on the other side, right where the wrist seal sits. Going from here, let's go with your chest measurement. So looking for the widest part. So if this is on a guy, it's right at the nipple line. If it's on a female, right at the widest part of the bust. With a nice breath, jot that number down. And then with a nice exhalation, jot that number down as well. Thank you. Then go into our waist. So this is the widest part, right at the belly button. And just have the diver point to his belly button, put it on his belly button, and we just want to make sure that it's coming straight across. And then we have our hips. So the widest part of the butt, again making sure that we're coming straight across. You can take a measurement, come up a little bit, take a measurement, drop down a little bit, take a measurement. It's okay to over measure. We want the widest number you're going to find there. All right, so going from there, let's do our um, armpit to wrist. So for this, with the tape out, Bill's gonna just pinch the very top of it, stick it right into the crux of the armpit, and then measure right to his wrist bone. And then we'll, we would repeat the process on the other side. And then for crotch to floor, same thing, just right at the top of the tape. He's going to go ahead and cup it under the underside, and then he's going to try to stand up nice and tall. That measurement's going to go straight to the floor. Take that measurement. This is one that I'm like, I have our, our diver redo it a few times just to make sure it's at the, the highest point. Obviously, Bill <laughs> is a pro here, so he's giving me the best measurement, but all right, very good. And no shoes on. Make sure you take your shoes off. All right. Good job. So the last measurement we would want is your foot length and foot width. Do this with whatever undergarment sock you plan on wearing. Um, the easiest way of doing it is just taking your measuring tape, putting it on the edge of your baseboard. I'm not going to do that because you won't be able to see it, but put it on the edge of the baseboard, have the diver step right on top of it, and take that length measurement for both the left and the right foot. Then have the diver put his foot sideways and take the width measurement right at the widest point. That'll make it real uh, apparent to us uh, and for Ursuit for exactly what size you need. The last thing is our height. So with having Bill stand up against the wall, I would just put a little dot right at the very top of his head and then measure that straight to the bottom. So the extra measurements we need are going to be for our made to measure. So moving along and hitting the ones that we missed here, we're gonna start with the legs. So we'll do our widest part of the thigh. So right at crotch level, just come around, making sure nothing's in his pockets. Drop down a little bit, take that measurement again, writing down the largest number we find. And then do the other leg. And then we have our calf. So calf, thanks Bill, <laughs> just for the demonstration, Bill's gonna lift up his leg, but you're looking for the widest measurement just under the knee and jot that number down again left and right. From here we'll do our ankle. So get his thing out of the way here, right above the foot, right where that ankle bone's at. And then we're going to do our arms. So let's start with spine to wrist. So I'm going to have Bill turn around 180 degrees here, right from his spinal cord, going right out to the wrist bone on both the left and right hand side. Again, 
Not uncommon for there to be a slight difference between left and right. That's okay. Just jot them both down. All right, biceps. Doesn't have to be a flex. Just looking for that widest number. Traveling down till we find it. And then do the other arm. Same thing on the forearms. Taking that largest number. And then jotting it down. All right. We got our lower arms, we got our wrist, our neck, crotch. Ah, uh, yes, the crotch to shoulder. So for this measurement, we like to just grab a book, a hardcover book. It is gonna go right under the underside here. As Bill's standing up nice and tall, he's just gonna squeeze that together. I'm then gonna hold it in place and have him sneak out of there. And I'm going to put a little mark on the wall right at the top of the book. So just imagine there's a little mark right here. Then, with him standing right in that line of it, right at the base of the neck on the top of the shoulder, you can go ahead and move out of there, Bill. We're going to put a mark right on the bottom of the book. You're then going to measure from that point to that point, and that's going to be our top of shoulder to crotch. That's all you need to do. If you have any questions on the measurements, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're here to help you. Thanks so much.